Welcome everyone, my name is Father David Trujillo, and this is Father Pascal. I've asked Father Pascal to be with us today in order to help us understand the meaning of divine providence. Father Pascal. Yes, Father David. Would you mind sharing your knowledge with us, please? I would love to contribute, Father, and thank you for asking. Allow me to begin our topic by referencing the Catechism of the Catholic Church which is a Catholic book of beliefs that is available not only for adults, but for young adults and kids too. The Catechism is a complete summary of what Catholics around the world commonly believe. The word Catechism means instruction. This book will serve as a standard for all future Catechisms. The Catechism of the Catholic Church offers challenges for believers and answers for all those interested in learning about the mystery of the Catholic faith. In the Catechism, divine providence is defined in such a way that um, the universe was created in a state of journeying towards an ultimate perfection, yet to be attained to which God has destined it. Father. Yes. Would you mind if I invite two dear friends, Father David and Father Pat, to help us with our complex yet simple subject on divine providence. Wonderful, because it's all about the journey. So yes, let us ask for help. Father David and Father Pat, would you mind sharing your definition of divine providence with us, please? Yes, thanks very much for having me here, and I'll try to do that for you. Divine providence is God's care and guidance and protection of us. It's his, his abiding guidance and protection. And it's also God's providence in providing for us, also connected with providence, providing for us for a future, and that future is with him, because he has created us so that this life will only be a preparation, a challenging preparation for us to grow through the challenges of life into the strength of character that we need in order to live life well, and eventually to die well and to be with him for all eternity. I would like to speak to young adults in terms of encouraging them to be the same thing for God that he is for us. In other words, be, give him our lives and our presence. In order to do that, we have to be uh, men and women of prayer, that is, Relationships depend on communications so that the greater and more important and more intimate and loving the communications are, then the greater, the more loving and intimate the relationship will be. And the only difference between the relationship that we have now in this life and in eternity is our awareness. But what a difference. And this is what we're working for. God's life is important for us. That's how we exist, through his presence and his caring concern. And th this is how we're going to persevere in God's abiding presence in order to meet him and be with him for all eternity. The cardinal principle of life is that it's only through challenges that people grow. We grow through the challenges of life and uh, respond to those challenges by growing through them into greater and greater degrees of strength of character, which we call virtues, until we uh, reach a point that God knows about, that he's ordained for us, that of perfection, so that we're able to be united to him, who is all perfection. I'm Father Pat from St. Louis. Sanctifying grace. This, um, this word grace, it comes from a, a Greek word, charis. It means gift. There it is, there's the answer. It's a gift from God, but, but God's gift is right here. But that's what we t t need that is sanctifying grace. D don't worry about tomorrow, don't worry about yesterday. Right here, in the heat of it. Because, uh, uh, and we call it the sacrament and the now moment. It's the sacrament because the same Creator is with us right now today as He started off 5,000 years ago. And the bottom line, it works. 
That was super awesome. That reminds me. For anyone who's not familiar with our mission, please tune in to season one in order to update yourselves. Father Pascal, any last words? Yes. March on, young people. March on. Thank you to everyone who made this new evangelization video possible. And until next time, tell your friends about us. <laughs>